Nonviolence is absolute commitment to the way of love. Love is not emotional bash, it is not empty sentimentalism. It is the active outpouring of one's whole being into the being of another. We are not makers of history. We are made by history. Rarely do we find men who willingly engage in hard, solid thinking. There is an almost universal quest for easy answers and half-baked solutions. Nothing pains some people more than having to think. We must build dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. Man must evolve for all human conflict a method which rejects revenge, aggression and retaliation. The foundation of such a method is love. Hate is just as injurious to the hater as it is to the hated. Like an unchecked cancer, hate corrodes the personality and eats away its vital unity. Many of our inner conflicts are rooted in hate. This is why psychiatrists say, love or perish. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Power without love is reckless and abusive, and love without power is sentimental and anemic. Power at its best is love implementing the demands of justice, and justice at its best is power correcting everything that stands against love. In some not too distant tomorrow, the radiant stars of love and brotherhood will shine over our great nation with all their scintillating beauty. We shall match your capacity to inflict suffering by our capacity to endure suffering. We will meet your physical force with soul force. Do to us what you will, and we shall continue to love you. You can kill the dreamer, but you can't kill the dream. I want to be the white man's brother, not his brother-in-law.